For 2015, I really wanted to have a new series going on. So each month this year, I will be uploading Marx's Time, which is my little show in which I'm gonna combine three videos in one. Welcome to Marx's Time! But the first segment of the day is what I like to call Lazy Q&A, in which pretty much I answer some of your most asked questions. So let's begin. Lazy Q&A. I know you and Felix met over the internet and were dating long distance for a little while. I'm in the same situation and I was hoping you could give me an advice on how you could finally come to an agreement to live together. When Felix and I started dating, it was a pretty good period because I just graduated from high school and we were both in that stage of our lives where we weren't sure what we wanted to do. So when I had the chance to move somewhere, I just took it. So it is definitely scary, but you have to think if it's worth it or not. And if you just aren't ready for it, don't push it. Sooner or later, if it's right, if it's the right moment, you guys will manage to live together. So I wouldn't worry about it. Living together, it's a big step. So I would just say, keep going with your lives, even though maybe it's not the best right away. But sooner or later, your patience will pay out, in my opinion. Hey Marcia, could you do a video about your vinyls? I love your tasty music and I would really love to see them, thanks. I haven't made a video about all my vinyls because I have quite a lot, but I recently did a video on my top five vinyls, so if you wanna watch it, you can click over here. How long does it take you to edit a video? And also, question number four, do you have someone to help you during video shoots or are you a one-man team? My editing time really varies a lot because if I'm doing, for example, a short animation, even though that's so short, it takes forever. I think the longest that I edited a video for was like 10 hours and it's for animation or very creative videos. But generally, I would say that my time is around three hours for video. And usually I film everything on my own like this. My tripod is my best friend. I'm shaking you. Do you feel it? But sometimes I just can't do everything by myself, so I would ask for Felix's help. But most of the time, like 95% of the times, it's just me. Hi, I know this question is a little bit strange, but could you give me suggestions on your style? I'm not completely sure what this question is asking me. My style is strongly influenced by Japanese fashion, but I like to give it my own twist by adding either indie or bohemian or kind of like rocker style things and at the same time Bonton is a very big component in my style so I mix everything together and I create my own perfect outfit Marta, do you have any advice on how to be more confident in my body? Um, growing up, as I said multiple times, I wasn't very confident with my body because I felt like I was way too skinny and so many people made fun of me for it but my mom kept telling me one day you will thank me because you will be able to eat everything you want and you won't gain weight at the time I didn't realize that that was a good thing I was just like no I'm too skinny I look like a little boy I don't like myself but with time I started to realize that it doesn't really matter if I look like the other girls or not because I was pretty my own way, even if I look different or I might not have the curves that all these girls had. So I stopped covering myself and even though I hated my legs, I started wearing skinny jeans. So my advice would be to focus on something that you really like about yourself and also something that you're insecure about. Try to be confident about what you know that is your strong feature, but at the same time don't be afraid of showing up what you are concerned about, if that makes any sense. If you just go out there and show it to the world, you will have nothing to fear because you have done it and you will feel good about yourself. What do you do to deal with stress? I like to take walks. I'm lucky enough that I have the beach kind of close to where I live and I love going there because it's so relaxing to me. So anytime I feel like, I don't know, I'm unhappy and stressed, I go out there, I walk either on my own or with the pugs and I just stay out as long as I need and usually when I come back I feel much much better. The second segment for today is what I would call play that game and it's basically me playing a video game. Let's do it. Play. 
decade. Mm, 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 mm. So many years ago, I remember stumbling across this game which seems kind of creepy, so we're gonna give it a try right now. It's called The Ugly, and it says, Warning, children should not be admitted. Contains violence, sex, and other behavior that most parents would consider off-limits to children. Okay, there is me. Just came back from, ooh. So pretty much in this game, you kind of have to survive because the killer is supposed to be inside. Um, let's not turn on. No, 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 turn off, turn off, turn off, turn off. Well, that lasted a very short amount of time. Let's give it another try. So let's try to change the channel. Okay, okay. That, that wasn't a good thing to do. Anyway, play again. This time for real. I'm gonna find my parents, okay? Okay, can't we just change room? So there is blood going that direction. I'm gonna pick up the phone. Let's not call for help, even though you should. Every time I click yes, I die, so let's get I don't know. In this room? Can I get in this room? Okay. Blood even there? Let's wash my hands. No noise? Pretty good. Isn't it supposed to go down? Okay, stop it. Breathe. Yes. Eyeball. Let's get out of here. See blood? Open it. Oh, let's open it. Did it blink at me? Um, can I flash the toilet? No, we can't. Okay, I'm back here. Let's go to the kitchen. Uh, let's read the newspaper, if I can. Yes, let's read it. Donald the Ugly. Dempsey escaped. Now we know who is the killer. Who? Can I hide? Yes, let's open. How are you supposed to leave in this game? If you can play this game until the end, let me know because I would love to try but I feel like I'm gonna waste everyone's time. So I hope you enjoyed and let's cut back to the other Martia. Play the game. Mm, 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 mm. So now the last segment is called Science Power and I will be trying out science experiments or products and weird stuff like that, anything you want me to do. But today we will stick to science. So let's begin. Science power. So I'm supposed to be Mark to the scientist and today we're gonna do an experiment for green power. I found these at the toy store and I thought it might be a good idea to try it out. I just opened the box, it's full of stuff and then it also has the instructions for the different experiments. Hopefully you won't die. The one we're doing today is this one, which is the wind turbine, turbine, turbine. No one knows. If you're wondering why I'm doing this one, out of all the ones that they provide, it's because it's the only one that doesn't require anything additional other than this. Because obviously I'm so prepared that I didn't bring anything with me. So. Let's do this. First thing to do, we will need the wind turbine to bind. Yeah, yes, this is the one. This is water. This is wind, I believe. Then we're gonna need the power hub. Could this be it? Kind of looks like it. I'm pretty sure that's it. Gotta open it. No, not, okay, I think I got it. Okay, so we're gonna attach the turbine. I'm gonna call it turbine. To the power hub. What? Look at that. Then we're gonna attach the tail to the power hub. Yes. And then we're gonna place these on the bottom so we can attach it somewhere here. We kind of need to do the opposite. I kind of want to attach it this way. But how? Almost done setting up. Yes. It looks pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Okay. It's stable, kinda. Now, we have air. We have to push it 
so much that it's gonna move. Except it's not moving. I'm here. How you doing? It's harder than it looks to make fun of me. This is not working out for me. Let's turn this this way, okay? Now I can do it. Let's see. Okay, so it is turning, but let's see what it says here. So what it's supposed to do, it's once you can get the wind turbine to turn rapidly, check out the light on the power hub. So the light on the power hub is back here, so you can see it. Ooh, there you go. So what we have to do is to move it as fast as we can, so it's gonna generate some kind of thing. Look at that. Ooh, okay. I was saying, look at that. Cheating works every time. The light is going. Bam! Science power! So this concludes my very first episode of Marx's Time. I really hope you enjoyed it. I would love for you to leave comments down below suggesting me what I could do for next month or just asking your questions. And that is it for today. I really, really, really hope you like this concept and I will see you very soon. Bye! Thanks for 